All right. Hello, everyone. Um, as folks start um, getting into this uh, meeting room, we're just going to wait for a few more minutes. Hello. Um, yeah, hi, good evening, sir. Good evening. Hello, sir. We are just waiting for folks to join. Um, we'll get started at um, sure. Yeah, in a minute. Yeah. No, no issue. So happy Pongal, happy Sankranti, and happy Madhu Pongal to everyone. Yeah. yeah, happy Pongal and Sankranti, everyone. All right. So um, I think it's 8 p.m. in India. It's also um, 6.30 in the morning here um, in California. Uh, thank you, everyone, for taking the time to join this meeting. Uh, we are really thrilled um, to share our progress and also talk a bit about what our journey has been like. Um, so um, just uh, in before we get started, though, just a little bit um, of uh, interaction here. This is going to be one of those meetings where um, you know we actually want people to uh, you know, engage and interact. So the the chat you will see like a chat box on the bottom right um, of uh, uh, Google Meet. Uh, one of the things we ask you to do is uh, share what's your most favorite memory involving a uh, cow or bull. And and you can uh, throw in your you know your memory by clicking on that chat. It'll open up like a box, and then you can type in. Um, your favorite memory. And um, you know, we'll maybe take the next two, three minutes to just share our experience before we get started.
Uh, yes, sir. You have a question? Oh, no. Okay. It, it could be very brief. <laughs> it doesn't have to be too long. And maybe as, as others are typing, I, uh, I'll put in mine as well. Right, so so we're seeing a couple of responses come in, like playing with calves, uh, petting or feeding calves. So, um, and then I, I put in my memory, which was like when a calf actually attempted to hug me. Yeah, so so we'll keep um, sharing more. Um, I, this was just like uh, for us to warm up to, uh, um, you know, like uh, engage. This is one of those meetings where, you know, if as you're feeling uh, about something or as you're hearing something and you want to share something with the rest of us, please go ahead and use this chat feature so that we keep some form of conversation going, uh, even if it means that you're not necessarily unmuting yourself to say something. Um, so just in the interest of time, we'll get started. But before we do that, a huge, um, you know, a huge thanks to everyone who took your time to uh, join this meeting and a huge shout out to uh, Mr. Um, Abhishek Ranjan, um, our guest of honor for joining the meeting as well. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for taking your time uh, to uh, to join this meeting. Um, I, I see you've already, uh, um, you know, um, uh, you probably don't have your camera turned down, uh, which is fine. Uh, one thing I do ask folks um, on this call is it will be much more engaging if you have your camera turned on so that we can see what you're thinking or uh, hearing or responding to as we are speaking. Um, so with that, uh, maybe uh, let's let's get started. Um, at a high level, this is what we're going to do. We'll start off by sharing our journey um, for uh, um, you know what it's been like working on this project, and then. Um, you know, our guest of honor would share a few words. And most of our time in this meeting, we are going to be uh, spending in uh, the metaverse. So we'll share the link to like a platform. And once you get into the metaverse, we'll uh, we'll we'll do a couple of activities there, right? And then we'll end with uh, a few closing remarks. So just a little bit of a very brief introduction about um, who we are. So the, the core team is basically uh, myself. My name is Preeti Srinivas. Uh, I came in with this uh, concept and um, you know just the script and the story and, and how we could go about um, setting the scenes. Um, and then um, we have members from the Grahas VR team uh, in this call as well. Uh, you know, they, There's definitely more than one person uh, from that team who has contributed heavily to this project. And then we also have uh, PC Shivan sir, who came in uh, with uh, the expertise for uh, you know, creating the background music, thinking about like the spatial audio and, and all those aspects. Um, there are definitely much more members in this project uh, than uh, just uh, just the three um, you know bubbles that you see here. A special call out to uh, uh, Dr. Kanex Kanikeshwaran and um, you know Art of Ajay and team because. Uh, uh, and they, they came in um, and then um, they helped create like a promotional song uh, on the same topic that's related to this film, but also kind of addresses a, a much wider um, area of uh, just paying tribute to cows and bulls. Um, and we'll be listening to the song as well uh, in the, uh, the metaverse. Um, and aside from the members that I've just called out, there are many more uh, who are involved in this project. And you know, I, I would like to take a moment to uh, uh, express heartfelt gratitude for everyone who has spent time working in this uh, project. So uh, I think before we go into the journey, a little bit of backstory would be helpful for folks because I I, um, I can sense that some of you are you know curious to know what is this and what is different cows and, and all of that. So just uh, at a very high level, uh, an accidental trigger motivated me to um, you know learn about cows and their existence in our planet, right? And it took me a while to get to this learning, uh, you know, thanks to the pandemic. But but regardless, I finally did get an opportunity uh, to not only visit like a cow shelter that's local. You 
you know, in wherever I live, but also visit, um, you know, shelters and sanctuaries in different parts of the world. Um, and being a researcher by nature, I was very interested to sort of understand people's motivations in, in participating in a setup like a cow shelter or sanctuary. Like, what does it really take for someone to be in that um, setup? And um, you know, um, as I started to have conversations with the people wherever I visited, I started to notice similar patterns. And, uh, you know, at a surface level, I noticed that there was a, a lot of interest for like activism and this desire to create social impact. Uh, I did definitely see, um, you know, people's love and compassion for animals, um, you know, come through. And, and for some, it was actually passion. Uh, and for others, they actually considered it as like their fundamental duty. And in, in fact, for some, it was like a way of healing. Uh, but at a deeper level, level there was struggle right be it struggle for humans or struggle for um, the animals and when i started to listen to these stories I, I kept hearing that the struggle for animals was much more real than what we are aware of right um, and the most important thing that i kept hearing was that um, cows wanted to run away and they wanted to run away from humans which is very unfortunate in uh, in today's world right so a cow or a bull cannot actually take care of themselves uh, to get a meal on their own without assistance from a human because that's the world we've created for 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 all of us for that matter right so there's no like grassland where they can just go and get grass and be fine uh, now this was a profound insight for me right um, yes cows are domesticated there's no doubt about that but it's not how our ancestors coexisted with cows so so i was like what can i do with this insight so i decided to share this with the world uh, in the form of a story uh, so when it came to the actual narrative, I wanted to adapt like portions of the story that really stood out from these, um, you know, experiences of different cows and different bulls from all of these different stories. Uh, but in finding that character, uh, I chose to center the story around, um, I, I chose to center the story around Swati, uh, a cow who is currently housed in Texas Goshala, um, which is a cow sanctuary in, well, Texas, right? So, so the film uh, in this, uh, the, the story in this film is, uh, is inspired from incidents in her, from her life, but there are also pieces uh, of uh, incidents from other, you know, uh, cows' lives and bulls' lives that have been incorporated. So, so once I got this, the, the next step in this process was to think about, well, what is the medium for storytelling? Right? And um, so with that, I, I started to question, like, what will it be like to immerse in Swati's experience? Like, how can I get people to understand that um, experience? And this meant I asked a, a much more important uh, complex question, which was like, how can this complex narrative be crafted to immerse viewers so they actually feel like they are part of the story? And this was actually very important in that storytelling um, component, right? So that's when I reached out to Grahas VR. And as we started having these conversations to sort of like bounce off ideas, um, we started to get a little bit more clarity on how we could go ahead and um, approach this uh, complex narrative. Uh, now, VR, for instance, uh, like virtual reality would help simulate that experience. Uh, and it'll help, uh, you know, uh, make it'll help make the viewers feel like they are part of the uh, um, narrative. Uh, but we wanted to add another layer to this, right? So uh, we wanted to make the film a bit more interactive so that the viewers can actually modify the outcome of the story. And in doing that, we were trying to create this experience where the, the, the viewer becomes part of the story. Now, you know, I, I probably I can hear some of you thinking at a high level, this might sound a lot like a game or like a video game to you. But but if you go a little deeper, this approach really taps into empathy. Right. So uh, it'll, it'll make people think. Uh, in fact, some of this interactivity really taps into moral dilemmas and, you know, how people make decisions, be it for themselves or for, you know, another living entity on this planet. And if you think about it, the foundation to all of this is to really inspire the viewers to revive that form of, you know, broken relationship that we have with cows and bulls, a, a relationship where, you know, there's this form of struggle and there's this form of lack of trust. And, and that was really what we were getting at. Now, all of this sounded great, um, but, you know, as with everything in this world, whatever we were trying to do was not as simple as it sounds, right? So anywhere from like thinking about technology being complex to like something being very expensive to something that's requiring like compromises that we had to make, um, or even just the realism of the overall experience, right? So we were trying to model a cow and her behavior in a virtual environment. So that, that by itself was a challenge. 
so i think at this point i would like to uh, um hand off to uh, shini sir from grahas uh, shini sir if you can maybe quickly introduce yourself um, and then go um you know like help our uh, viewers understand what were some of the technical limitations that'll be great sure sure so first of all i would uh, you know, love to start my conversation with uh, you know by thanking Preeti for giving us this particular opportunity. You know, we uh, this is not the uh, first project that which we started on. The first one that which we tried was uh, you know uh, a pilot that which we did as a VR experience for Texas Goshala, thanks to Mr. Abhinav Goswami who was in the call as well. Uh, based on which we modeled and created an entire experience of the uh, Goshala. And you could uh, do all of that, uh, you know, by doing from wherever you are. That obviously is the, you know, biggest uh, advantage to VR as it is. So that is how we started off in this project. And when then when uh, Preeti came up with this particular, you know, uh, narrative or the uh, idea or concept around creating a VR film, you know, VR films in general is already in a much, uh, you know, lesser number and that too. Uh, pro probably, you know, at uh, doing that at scale, the very first point that which we started off, uh, you know, was the, do, going to, you know, offer this at scale to everyone. That was our, uh, you know, primary objective. Giving access to everyone was our primary objective when we started this off. So mobile VR was the primary factor or the de facto model that which we chose to begin with. And uh, there was a great deal of amount of time and effort that was, uh, you know, put in by our team uh, for this particular project. And, uh, you know, at this juncture, I would like to take the opportunity to thank our team, starting from, uh, you know, Sriram, Kishore, Vinod, Rohit, uh, and there is one more Sriram, and there are a couple of more guys. So, you know, in the uh, interest of time, I'll just uh, limit to this. So we did a lot of work in terms of, you know, doing the research. And, uh, you know, we had a couple of interesting conversations as well, wherein it would be easier to get the cow to act rather than creating a virtual model of that cow to, you know, have it and then uh, animate it. And, uh, you know, the other option that which we had was to maintain the realism in terms of how exactly a cow behaves. You know, it was not something that which we took it for granted because the technology was limited. We didn't stop there in terms of, uh, you know, crafting the uh, work as well as the actual content that which we created so sticking to realism as much as possible to the best of our efforts and to the best of the technology that is available and also at the same time uh, you know maintaining the bandwidth this was something that which we built for you know mobile vr so obviously this has to work in all the devices irrespective of the computing power the memory bandwidth so we there are a lot of technical constraints in terms of the limited amount of availability you know in terms of the computing power this is not some fancy you know a thousand dollars headset or a thousand five hundred dollars headset with uh you know some thousand uh, dollars computing device at which we are talking about we wanted to give the access to everyone so that the story gets a wider adoption and a wider narrative in terms of the acceptance and also the primary objective was to create awareness on the actual incident that happened in the life of swati the title character of our film so when we had that as the objective in our mind, uh, you know, taking this to all the other devices, so there were a lot of uh, technical challenges. Probably we will, uh, you know, that actually in itself will require a separate session as to what are all the newer technical uh, nuances that which we tried. You know, uh, some of the animation scenes that which you would see in the movie were, were not actually animation. So those were some of the techniques that which we know we tried to come up with this for this particular uh, instance and uh, we are very thankful to uh, you know Preeti because uh, in our initial conversations I remember telling her that we will take this project as a challenge because uh, generally when you talk about mobile VR uh, you know people tend to have a stepmotherly treatment towards that uh, com in comparison to the other VR devices just because the technology was with the hands of some uh, big tech names obviously I don't want to name them so uh, it was killed at an early stage but there is a lot of potential and scope for this particular mobile VR in general. That is something that we wanted to prove the metal and the potential of the technology itself to everyone. Just because some big companies killed that technology at an early stage, it doesn't mean it can't solve a lot of the other problems. So that was our core intention behind taking up this project and coming up with a lot of newer techniques in terms of the uh, storytelling narrative, particularly in the VR format. Uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, uh, things that uh, I can't reveal since this is a trailer launch. Uh, 
uh, I know in terms of how exactly we uh, created the movie around it, all of those uh, you know complex things required us doing a lot of complex things in the background so that we are able to offer this to you in a more easier and interactive manner to everyone. So that was the crux behind this. And we are so happy and super excited to do this. You know, this is a unique culmination wherein the cost coming with the uh, technology, you know, this uh, probably we think this is what would happen when technology is put into a meaningful cost where we didn't uh, let it be the metaverse space or the VR uh, short film that which we did and the metaverse experience that which you are going to experience in the next half of the call. All of these, we try to have the realism in place and also sticking to the core cause and, and the root of our ethos as to whatever that which we wanted to do. And uh, we are so excited to have this on the Matapungal Day, which I know resonates the uh, cows and their uh, the celebration of cows, how we do that. And also the Startup Day, the, as our nation celebrates the Startup Day, it's a unique culmination of both the both the ends of the world, and we are uh, we we couldn't have asked for a better day to you know share this with all of you. So uh, thank you, uh, Preeti, once again, and thanks to our entire team. And uh, I'll probably you know pass it on to you so that we could carry off. Uh, sure. So that was just the uh, the side, the the technical side and the implementation side. So I think um, now would be a great time for PC uh, Shivan sir, uh, who came in with the uh, expertise of like music to share a bit about how we went about thinking about the spatial uh, audio aspect. Uh, thanks for uh, uh, to share the uh, share the space with uh, dignity trees. All the uh, thanks special to, uh, mention to uh, Mr. Abhishek Ranjan, whom I really admire. Uh, uh here i'm uh, uh I, i'm a composer i'm uh, also a sound engineer and uh, i do have a tech background i studied in iit madras uh, uh doing aerospace engineering but uh, when it came to music uh, i think uh, that would definitely be come second so i quit my uh, career and uh, in, in the first half of my career and came into music dived full time and uh, whenever there are challenging projects like this i uh, would uh, take it like my baby and get very passionate about it. So we have had heated arguments. So uh, I think now uh, seeing all this come to an end and closure, it's like almost like giving birth to a baby, which we have all come uh, together done. So I'll do my bit in quickly explaining how the, uh, the perspective of uh, music in a VR film that we uh, thought about. So the music had to be, of course, organic. And since this is a cow film and it is not just any cow film, this is a film which is from a cow point of view. So the cow is the protagonist. And it's, uh, as we know, like we have had English films where there are cows talking. and But this is not a film that can be taken lightly. It's it's actually a very uh, a very serious content in terms of that. Uh, I'm not going to reveal the storyline, but of course, when you see the trailer, you'll be a little bit of you'll be able to guess what it is. So I'm going to give a little bit of a, uh, just a um, some points which uh, uh, which is going to tell you the full uh, the the emotion behind it. So it is a real story, a real struggle, a real experience of struggle to freedom. So, uh, which is almost like a human emotion, and uh, uh, we have just tried to uh, tried our best to conceive what are all, what is going behind the cow's mind. So, uh, when it is looking for uh, freedom, when it is suffering, when it is struggling, and uh, when it when it is completely desperate for and uh, hope hoping that all this is going to end and it is going to have freedom in the end. So this this is such a story, and there could no be no other uh, way of expressing it than the audience having to experience it real hand in 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 first person in a virtual reality environment where they can see this happen unfold in real time, and uh, they can give be part of the journey of the cow. So Swati is our cow who's. Uh, uh, in attempting to score music, of course, we started with a 2D version of the film, uh, knowing that the 3D, or and then in fact the VR is going to be much more uh, different in terms of there are going to be some audience engagement and there are going to be uh, scores which um, are going to. Uh, so I have to in, um, ensure that there is seamless transition and uh, of course retaining the audience's engagement and all that that was also taken care of and organic sound is also what i mean is um, so 
this does have a bit of east and west so if there will be because we need pace we need uh, there will be violin there will be flute there will be um, other indian instruments as well as western orchestral sounds but that uh, organic sound is going to be um, uh, the crux of the the musical uh, uh, soundtrack and also for the metaverse which you will experience later today so there were several layers of music which uh, which are uh, which will uh, overlap one another and that is going to create a very immersive experience so cows have feelings these feelings need to be conve conveyed in a way that uh, humans can understand and appreciate and there are yeah, for dubbing we had challenges where uh, of course the uh, we had to give a human voice because we we can understand human voice and that is how we can give but we try to make sure that this voice uh, very truly represents the emotion the person that the persona that the cow is that swati is and other characters are and uh, some emotion some some of the behaviors like cow licking themselves often we had to think of ways to incorporate this behavior without making it really odd and lip syncing with vr is very difficult as opposed to traditional films and that was also one of the challenges so uh, we have tried to give our uh, best in terms of uh, uh, musical and conveying the story i hope uh, the second half of it uh, uh, you will experience it. Of uh, back to uh, Preeti for giving me thanks for giving me the opportunity. Sure, sure. Thank you, thank you very much, sir. So, uh, so I guess uh, this is just at a very high level. A quick share out of what are some of the different aspects we had to uh, uh, take care of in this VR film. Just in the interest of time, uh, I think we would like to uh, switch over to actually uh, um, showing you what the metaverse would look like because the metaverse also went through uh, you know a significant like uh, development and implementation some of the things that we have created in the metaverse as you will see is uh, uh, something that didn't exist before and so we had to do things um, and including like uh, the spatial audio pers uh, uh, perspective and just the visual pers perspective but before we get into metaverse uh, i do want to uh, um, hand off the uh, uh, the, the microphone to our guest of honor, Mr. Abhishek Ranjan. Uh, Abhishek is an enthusiastic uh, educationist by heart and has a profound interest in public policy, especially in education. Um, currently, he's working as an innovation officer uh, at the Innovation Cell Ministry of Education. Um, he is working, he's also working as the zonal coordinator uh, of SWRO in Kerala and Karnataka and CRO in Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, and Chhattisgarh zones for Institution Innovation Council to foster uh, the culture of innovation in higher educational institutions. Um, thank you very much, sir, again, for taking your time. If you can maybe please um, you know, um, go, uh, go off mute and turn on your video camera and you know, share a few words, that'll be great. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope I am, am I audible? Yes, sir. So my voice is uh, completely broken. And when Preeti is trying to uh, rebuild the relationship with the cows, my voice is not allowing me. But I will, uh, so, so I'm really grateful to Preeti that uh, you had invited me for this great event. Uh, when India is celebrating its National Startup Day to celebrate and acknowledge the role of innovation in startup, especially in developing India, um, I'm really feeling proud and privileged to be a part of this initiative because somehow you are not only using innovative method, but also you are helping us to connect with our roots. Uh, trust me, for me, it's like a very inspiring and emotional moment. Why inspiring? Because rarely I found, or you know, very it's like a very rare case for me that. Uh, one of my young friends, they are focusing on very important aspect of human life where they are using technology to reinstate the old tradition of human and animal relationship. Why I'm feeling emotional? Because being a proud son of farmer and as a cow lover, uh, personally, I'm having a very deep rooted connection with cows and bulls. In fact, uh, I spent all of my childhood with cows only and uh, i'm really happy to see that through technology you are helping me to connect with my childhood because since last couple of years i'm not living in my village and honestly saying i, I always used to miss all those parts in fact in our family we always considered 
like others. Uh, cows and bulls were like a part of our family. And my father used to give them some names. So, and sometimes we always used to feel, you know, we, we we always used to complain that they are getting more love than us. You know, so so you are loving them more. Uh, bahut kam milta hai. So, <laughs> so this kind of relationship we always enjoy it. And I hope through this effort, effort uh, you will also inspire all those people who never had uh, any first-hand experience living with cows, bulls. And definitely this initiative will not only bring awareness uh, about the crucial role of cows in rural economy or, uh, uh, you know, we, we all are talking about 21st century skills. We all are talking about social emotional learning. But uh, basically you are also trying to how we can connect with the 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 traditional love we always used to enjoy uh while living in the society especially with the animals and no doubt the rebuilding relationship is the need of the hour uh you know since last couple of years we all have seen that how technology is uh being used in a maybe you can say positive way negative way but technology is also having a human touch and initiative like this is 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 a very fine example where you are just using technology to connect with those especially the younger kids uh, i would love to see this film is more watched by the younger generation than older ones because somehow they will feel some very deep rooted they, they will they will realize the potential and they will also feel that connection and they will also try to not only go through with this vr film but also to witness it in their real life they will visit they will love to they will they will tell their parents that i want to visit goshala and witness it in a first hand okay so uh, uh, i'm just sharing one example two years back when uh, Ministry of Education organized one toy hackathon, although I was not a part of that hackathon. But uh, post event, when I, I was going through with the winners, I have realized that more than two third students, majority of them school children, they, are, they have just uh, developed video games. So basically, uh, the, the whole hackathon was divided into online and uh, you know hardware and software edition and majority of software edition children's focused on tradition culture things like you know uh, i can share multiple examples but what i want to convey is that our younger generation especially uh, those who are having some connection with india indian roots uh, they are very innovative uh, they are not disconnected uh, they, they also want to uh, experience all those feelings which we have we, we are fortunate to you know have a, some sort of experience in that way but what 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 is needed the, the the need of the hour is help them to connect with our roots while using modern technology like you are doing uh, many institutions what they are, uh, my my wife is uh, working as a librarian Librarian and recently during Diwali time, uh, she told me, "Can you help me to, you know, identify one virtual book or maybe maybe ebook or any any videos, which can help me, uh, you know? So I want to showcase that video or that uh, content I want to use with the children, where they can learn that how Ramayana is relevant in 21st century." Uh, how Mahabharata is, uh, you know, connected, you know, having some relevance in 21st century. I, I, I just want to use it for the kids of class 4 and 5 or 6 or 7. Unfortunately, you will find very rare example on the, uh, you know, Google or no doubt Google and YouTube is the main source of information. So you will really find that that, that child friendly content which which can help our generation to connect with this with our roots or our tradition our culture so i think uh, the way you are uh, you know trying to focus on a very important aspect of human life uh, is very uh, admiring very inspiring and uh, 
I really, you know, I, I really wish to thank you to you, Preeti, your whole team, and whoever is supporting you. Uh, I think we have to strengthen this broken relationship. And we also need to empower our students while curating such such uh, contents in future uh, where we can, you know, um, where we can bring some positive differences in our society, positive change in, in our mindset, the way we are looking for the uh, generation. And we all have to build a very, uh, very kind of a society where everyone is, no one is preaching us. But everyone is having a very uh, some sort of feeling of compassion and love for each other and also for the animals especially the animals like cows and bulls and uh, i think cow lover should be a pride tag for anyone proud tag for anyone uh, in fact sometimes on social media people used to abuse that you are the cow lover or maybe uh, in, in political debate i'm not I'm going to talk about it but uh, i think loving cow and bulls should be a cool thing for the newer generation also so thank you so much for inviting me i really yeah. appreciate it everyone thank you thank you very much sir uh, we, we um, we're truly honored to have you thank you so much you know respect to of uh, you know having like a you know sore throat you had you had taken um, your time and uh, energy to uh, share um, such such uh, enlightening words with us uh, we hope you are take uh, you know uh, uh, some of what you've shared and in, incorporate that and in, not only in this film and future projects i think a lot of people uh, a few folks are also watching on live stream this uh, this would be like a, a, a seed for more of future innovation so um so with those uh, um great uh, words from our guest of honor let's let's try to move on to uh, the uh, the metaverse we are calling this part of the metaverse as farmverse and um we will share a link to this here in chat uh, depending on where you are joining this meeting from whether it is computer or mobile device you're going to see one or the other that is present here here or shared here on the screen so if you're on the computer the the very first thing you're more likely to see is when you click on the link it'll open up a new browser tab and then you will see a pop up that says welcome to farmverse and then go ahead and click on continue and after that the system is basically going to help you pick a name and a character uh, so this will be like your character in the metaverse so it will be you in metaverse and then for people joining from the mobile device uh clicking on the link will open up the uh, um the app and then you know the first thing if this is the first time you're opening the app most likely you're going to be asked for a name and after that you're going to see about a few screens that take you to a through a tutorial please do look at the instructions in there because the those tutorial uh, scenes are basically uh, telling you how to interact in the uh, uh, in 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 the metaverse using that mobile app uh, so do folks have any questions or um is this uh, is this clear and we'll definitely once we are in the metaverse um, we'll all get together and then we will share instructions on what you are going to be doing there and how you can move around uh, but just opening up the app or opening up the web browser do folks have any questions on that okay i think i just wanted to add one point here if they don't have the app installed they would be required to install the app for the first time yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for the call out, sir. Um, and one, one more, one more thing. This link is uh, going to be inactive uh, after this meeting, so it's just specific for this, uh, for this meeting. So, uh, so maybe, sir, if we can share the link, um, we can uh, have people join that. One thing I would ask folks to do is uh, keep uh, staying on this call as well uh, while you're joining Metaverse, just to make sure that you get into Metaverse. Uh, and once you are there and everything is set up, we you can end uh, the call, like you can get out of this call. Um, I have a question. I clicked on the link. It's asking me uh, which browser to use. This is on the on the phone. It's not defaulting to the app. Uh, it should open the app. Um, Shini, sir. 
Yeah, it, it would open the browser. Once you yeah. go to the browser, then it will ask you to, there will be an option that says switch to app. Once you I click see. on it, then you would be able to download and install the app. I've already downloaded the app. So, okay, let me just click on this and go there and see what it is. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. took me to spatial.io agora asked me to create something i don't know am i getting the right uh... yes sir I, I think you're in the right place you'll just have to enter your name and then you will be there yeah i wrote my name i chose my character but it took me somewhere else i'm seeing some kickboxing some fashion show she is driving now uh, okay, May maybe just uh, try uh, clicking the link once again now. Yeah, I see some screens. I, I, I think it probably crashed for you. So if you can close the browser tab, click on this link again. Uh, I don't know that it's crashed because I have a LAN with 100 Mbps connection. Just closing and uh, reopening the tab would work, sir, usually. Yeah, I'm just doing it. Sure. It shows me form verse. Yeah, OK, that's uh, over. Um, spatial profiles, I read the rules. I click, check it out. But we don't see you here, right? It says spatial. Yeah. Me too. You would see what you see here. You will see the screen. Yeah, I think we, yeah. Are, we see you in the space. Yeah, we've got you, sir. Uh, ah, yeah. 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 So, so just for, for folks who have joined the Metaverse, you can drop from the call. So I'm not able to join. I'm able to open the spatial app. OK. OK, it is being uh, explored. And um, you can say no space is it. Create a new space to get started. Yeah, I, I think if you can come back to the call and tap on the link that was shared, uh, hopefully this time it should open up the space for you. Yeah, I can see both the metaverse and the call on the same screen. Yeah, so you can uh, drop from the call, sir. Well, I've down downloaded the disconnect? app on mobile. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm still having problems. Um... Okay, I'm on farm voice. Okay, and uh, it says open an app. Um, yeah, you are in the space, sir. Okay. So you can drop from this call. Yeah, it's taking a little. Just, um, I don't. It's it's just uh, still hanging. Um, For me, I'm getting joining farmers oh, yeah. at the I, same yeah. very, very.
Hmm. I got a prompt saying that explore uh, spaces and no spaces yet. Create a new space to get started. Yeah, I think it's taking you to the home screen every time, but I, it should take you to the actual space. Uh, Shini sir, do you, do you know what's going yeah. on? Yeah, I think okay. they just have to back to the uh, link and you will be uh, there in the uh, space, sir. Well, I'm just clicking on that space. So I get a redirect notice, but I'm saying it's okay. Um, it says joining farm works, it skips rotating, then uh, um, that's it, it ends. Uh, yeah, it, I think it takes a little while to load the tutorials and once the tutorial comes. It... I, I think it uh, depends a bit on the bandwidth as well, sir. Uh, I, okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, fun, actually. I think I'm in. Yeah. Okay, so for folks who are in Metaverse, you can drop from this call. Hi, so uh, my screen looks very different from uh, like, you know, say I was gathering that's there in front of the one, but now it's showing all different kinds of screen, uh, like, uh, um, no, so you are in this space, I believe. So you probably just moved away from where everyone else is. Yeah, how do I get back? Yeah, don't worry about it. We'll bring everyone back to the uh, the beginning. But if you want to like walk around, you can use your keyboard keys or click using the mouse. Okay. You yeah, can... we'll we'll bring everyone back to the starting point. But if you are in the uh, space, you can drop from the call. Okay, sure. Thanks. Just want to make sure everyone has joined. Uh, um, sir, um, uh, Vishak, uh, Mr. Abhishek, are you in the space as well? Haji, Haji, yes. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so then you can drop from this call. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. So we can all move over to the uh, uh, to the metaverse now. I think everyone's in there. Can you send me the link again? Uh, I'm not able to see the link again. Uh, somehow I got uh, the app crash. I think I joined the call again. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, as I was saying, um, so we we're going to look play a game. So if you look at the board, um, it, it says. Uh, we are basically going to do like a scavenger hunt. So one thing you will notice as you start walking around the environment is there are going to be a couple of posters. And uh, right. what you're going to do is uh, you're going to find clues and a few letters. And these posters are actually already organized sequentially. So the letters that you find, when you put them together, it will form a word. So we want you to form that five letter word, which embodies cow's love for human beings. And you can do that by the 
I think I think you'll have to mute yourself in Google Meet. Is that going? Yeah, yeah, sorry. I have a problem. I think probably it's a bandwidth issue. So I'm in a remote place. Yeah, so uh, what you could do is uh, you could use the keyboard if you are using a system you could use the keyboard uh, arrow keys the up down right left arrow keys and you could use the mouse to pan out zoom in and zoom out and then you could explore the farmers or you could click a particular spot in the uh, farmers and you would be transported directly to them. <coughs> if you are using a smartphone it's better to use it in a landscape mode and you'll just have to touch the point where you want to travel that way you will be able to travel and walk around the the farm so you get to explore the entire farm could just uh, click on the other places click on the spots and then you would be able to Uh, for folks in the uh, um, live stream, uh, please bear with us. We are actually playing a game at this point. Uh, it will take another five, ten minutes of uh, people playing the game before we uh, actually uh, play the, the promotional song and the trailer.
All right. So, um,
yeah i was unable to travel there was no black button that was coming yeah we are trying to bring you to uh, um, so it's it's inside the barn i see you outside the barn so okay trying to bring you inside okay actually i don't i don't see i don't i don't see the circle at all yeah, that's because you're outside the barn you have to go inside the barn i'm just seeing a blank screen and i'm seeing uh, seeing i'm seeing a lot of people now i don't how do i go into the barn Uh, you are in the barn, sir. Now we brought you in. So if you can just maybe okay. move around a little bit, uh, if you look around, I think it's a and it it is to your left. Yeah, I am in that uh, promo song. I am not able to hear anything. Uh, yeah. Yes, everything is jump. Yeah. Yeah, everything is jumping around. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, so we're waiting. All the to, icons are jump. Yeah, we're waiting for people to come um, into the promo song uh, space, uh, and it, the song will not play until everyone comes. Uh, we want everyone to watch it together. So. i am unable to do anything because everything is just jumping around uh could you maybe restart um like i don't know i think what we can do is i'll quickly share the link for promo song here in the uh, uh google link in the okay. meeting link and uh, you would, hmm. uh, you could click on it and you will be able to come to the promo song there
We just get uh, assembled wheels to uh, play the trailer. We have created this in a paper atmosphere. So we'll just uh, play the trailer. Once you're all set up in a position and you, you're able to face the screen. Yeah, and I see some of you are not able to, you're not to face the screen.
Yes, we are set up. Freedom, it is sweet indeed. Can you tell us what is this place? Look at that! Oh. I came to this world as a happy kid. Life was great when I was with my mother. But it is not the same anymore. This is a prison! Hey, where are you going? Wait up! Our car ran away. We need help. How are we gonna bring her back? It's a life. Tranquilize or lasso? Which one do you want to do? This plan of yours is going to get us killed! <laughs> People, they are good. Dr. Arvind has these very little words. So if you could put it in chat. Shall I put it? Huh? Yes, sir, what, what is the say the uh, word out loud? Yeah. Yeah, Preeti, I think Dr. Rajaram got it right. Thank you. It, it was a nice uh, treasure and I enjoyed it.
yeah again once again thank you to everyone for taking the time on a holiday and uh, being with us and take patiently you know going through all the technical stuff a lot of these are new to most of mostly to everyone so thank you everyone for giving us the opportunity to showcase what is that we have created thanks a lot thanks to everyone uh, thank you all uh, for being here and uh... much of the work has been uh, uh, it was been a real pleasure to present our work uh, uh, the the song that you heard outside uh, do listen it's by uh, mr kanik kanikeshwaran and it's a beautiful song in charal kesi it is on youtube and this trailer the link is also on youtube you can watch it multiple times uh, to feel uh, the real story that's behind and i hope that you will also be part of this journey for the final vr release and uh, encourage us for in our baby steps forward yeah uh, Thank thanks you. a lot the to... team uh, riti uh, the pc sivan uh, mr sini the kanikeshwaran uh, outstanding job i, I think it, it gives a feel of the uh, real movie sitting in a theater uh, i'm sure we can't wait till for the full movie to be released Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, everyone. Indeed, wonderful yeah. effort, the whole team. I would like to congratulate all of you all. And uh, uh, today is a very, very special day, and you made it very special for me personally. It felt in a few moments like I was in Goloka. So thank you so much. Good night. All right. Thank you, everyone. Feel free. Was everybody to... able to see the trailer, or would you want? Uh, I mean, I can. I could see some of the uh, yeah. like the not um, some of some some people not able to see the trailer because they are in the other direction. Uh, would you like to see it again? Or... I, I think okay. we. Yeah. okay yeah we can share the link yes thank you uh for folks joining from live stream uh, thank you very much for taking the time um to uh, uh, to join in this experience uh we are sorry in some portions we had to mute because we were trying to speak in the metaverse and also trying to speak uh, for folks in the live stream uh but the trailer is now available on youtube um uh, please visit the youtube channel different cows and uh, you should be able to uh, watch uh, the trailer you should also be able to watch the uh, the entire uh, event that was live stream this past hour um thank you once again uh for uh, you know taking the time Thank you very much sir